Hey, crack 'em up, crack 'em up. It's the Crack 'em Up Comedy Podcast. It's the Crack 'em Up Comedy Podcast. It's the Crack 'em Up Comedy Podcast. Hey, crack 'em up, crack 'em up. It's the Crack 'em Up Comedy Podcast. It's the Crack 'em Up Comedy Podcast. It's the Crack 'em Up Comedy Podcast. Hey, crack 'em up, crack 'em up. That's how I want to start the show. You know what I'm saying? A little, a little music wanky. coming out your soul. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, the blessings are in the building. The blessings are yes. in the building. And you know what? Whenever I like have a messed up show, it's probably because I haven't like sang out loud a song like you know before I went on yeah. or did something because music is, just warms up the soul. Like it just yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. you just like feel so like warm and fuzzy. Like hey, the, the, the spirit is 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 is. Is over me right now is asking for people to go to my cash app. I don't know where my spirit is coming from, <laughs> but it's here. It's asking me, is there one that can yes. Venmo? Is there one that can a Venmo podcaster or cash at me? I don't care about the number. Oh, it's, a, it's, the, it's the energy. Yes. Speak on the deal. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. I need four at five Venmo Dale Harrison go Comedy. Ahead, <laughs> <laughs> you need how much? I need five people from the congregation to give them five dollars. Oh my God! And Man, I need those same right. five people to just give me that twenty four ninety five. I need them same four people. That twenty four hundred ninety five. So y'all can go to mine first. Just send me two dollars, like guys. I, I would. That, take a dollar. Oh, oh, in the name of the Father, when oh, I mentioned it again. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> in the name of the Father, when I mentioned twenty four ninety five, I mentioned twenty four hundred ninety five. I believe in it, Father, since they only. Two, yeah. Father, since they only want two and five dollars, Father, I'll take that twenty four ninety eight, Father. I mean, I'll take that you know twenty four ninety three, Father. Nada, nada, so nada, much, father. Nada, I hear you speaking to Dale, Father. <laughs> I think I need the twenty. <laughs> I hear, you, I feel it now that you might give it to her. Oh, oh, oh sweet baby day. Jesus. <laughs> so I need for you to God when you mind. finish with her account. <laughs> Do the blessings <laughs> by this weekend, Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father. Amen. I just really feel that twenty four ninety three. Yeah, yeah. Is there what? Yeah. Sitting here with comedian <laughs> Ken Marshall, y'all. It's and the crack of the Holy Ghost. I'm here sweating. Huh? And you know, I mean, you should be feeling the Holy Ghost, okay? After you lied and said you was going to oh. be here to Nichelle twice before, claiming you had to stop past your what a dying relative. Who does that when they have a show? One tire blew out. <laughs> One, and you can't make it. One tire on the one wall, uncle, one skirt one in between uncle that raised lanes. you is in the hospital, <laughs> and you need to take off. Right. What kind of weak ass dream chasers are they making these days? Who building them? Who building them, who build them these days? People can't lose an uncle. <laughs> Everybody know you have uncles. S <laughs> uncles. <laughs> so one. <laughs> Look, nobody told me that I was going to be grilled like this. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> get up that this. microphone. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get one grilled, on. man. I didn't Pull that microphone here. up to you. I didn't know I was going to get grilled when I come down here, man. You damn sure going to get grilled because this is your first time back. Yeah. yeah. After you just... T <laughs> Two times. Yeah. Two times. yeah. I'm lucky to be here. Talking about... Let's be honest. I'm his lucky to be here. Yeah. His time blew off. His car flipped over two times. Yeah. Two flips. Yeah. And I saw him. Him. Two times I went through the windshield. I still could have made it. Though. And you went through the windshield, and yeah. you didn't die, and you still didn't come so you celebrate. Said you went through the windshield on sunset, and you couldn't Uber from there. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean to tell me both your legs was broke? <laughs> so you went through the windshield on sunset. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just laid there. And you ain't Uber. Okay. Yeah. He don't want it, Dale. Nope. I, I didn't want it that nope. way. I want it bad now. Nope. <laughs> you want it bad this <laughs> week. <laughs> but you done spent the last <laughs> 10 years. You know how many windshields me and Dale done went through? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we went through a windshield tonight before we got here. <laughs> Why you think I'm looking this dry? <laughs> right. I was looking way hey, better than this. Have you went through a windshield recently? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the viewers, have y'all been doing wind windshield? Yeah, one windshield. Y'all hear this rookie? One windshield. <laughs> one <laughs> windshield. <laughs> you know, it was timber glass. It was some old windshield, too. Like, I don't want people the back say they the want it. Windshield. How you going through the back? People no, say they want it. <laughs> but, oh, you know. The back, you going to reverse. 
Hey. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Let me tell y'all what Chico. I'll let I'll let Chico tell y'all what he had to do to get here just last week. Just last week, Ubered here, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Went through the windshield, do a brake, little accident. Went through that oh, windshield, went into another car. Yeah. Do that car, do that windshield. That's two windshields. <laughs> <laughs> that man drove me halfway here. <laughs> Four his size blew out, went out that windshield, made it here on time. Now, and let me tell y'all what he had to do. Hold on, hold on. And that's not even the best, that's not even the best of it. Let me tell y'all what he had to do the week before. His transmission went out. <laughs> My transmission went out on Victory Boulevard. That's in the valley. That's at the top of the canyon, y'all. Top of the canyon. You but you know it? what? You know what God told me? Oh, it ain't no... <laughs> Is another way. <laughs> I said, God, I don't have a drive. He said, Chico, is another way. Is another gear. That's why I, the blessings of reverse. In the name of the Father, <laughs> Chico drove reverse through Laurel Canyon, Father. Google that if you're not in town. To All let you know <laughs> the persistence this man got. <laughs> He's talking about one tire. <laughs> and that ain't a story that inspires. I don't know what it is. Ken, Ken. I should never miss a show again. If a nigga drive, if you y'all don't know what Laurel Canyon, your back is <laughs> and make all the lights. Give me that. No, people don't understand. Yeah, what? I made every light <laughs> backwards. Oh my god! Oh. I picture the nigga going reverse on Laurel Canyon. Oh man. <laughs> That is such a You got to be on the mic. I'm you trying, are, I'm you trying. know what I'm saying? See how to see I'm, the I'm difference. I'm trying to lean over right now. But just put, you push yourself more. You don't, don't, you don't have to do that. You can just push yourself more. I'm you good. good. Yeah, you All good. Right, right there. Right it just there. can't cover your face. But, you know, to make it comfortable for yourself, just pull the mic towards you so you ain't got to keep on doing That's this. All, you could just like you could just do this. Yeah. Are you, but but <laughs> you sweat now yeah. when the truth is in the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just when you get in the kitchen, it get hot. Truth set you free. Yeah. Right. I'm mad enough to admit I was wrong. Okay. You hear it right um, now. So, Dale, he said he'd been out here for six years. Like, yeah. And he said he was from New Orleans, my hometown. Yeah. New Orleans. Yeah, yeah six you years. How's it been from? for you? It's good. I love LA. I love yeah. LA. Married, kids. Married kids? How long you been married? Actually, I married when I first came out here. This year be seven years. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Seven so, you married right? a chick and then came and then brought her on out here? Or y'all was... Oh, she was already out here. Oh, she. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, true story. True story. So, me and my wife met in uh, October. I mean, no, I'm taking it back in August, and we got married in October. In one month. What? Yeah. That's amazing. Married seven years. Yeah. And y'all must have just knew nah, y'all. My pops used to always say, right, "Why was y'all going that fast? Uh, Who needed their papers?" No, nah, I'm not him. Pet. I just got that got the right hand. I know oh, that's right. I mean, you better speak on the I know that's right. <laughs> really, hey, you, know you better like, be a black man in here. Hey, look, I got a queen at the crib. You know okay. I mean? Hold on, hold on. Is she black before we? Is she black. Dark okay, skin, okay, black right. woman. Yes, man. Okay. Uh, Get right. on that microphone. Yes. I just, yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, it ain't no time. Lady. My mom and dad been married 32 years. They met the same thing. They dated for about three months. Seven years. Huh? Wow. In yeah. one month, you married the love of your life, and y'all did seven right. I don't years. Know how that happened. Let, Let me tell you something. In L.A., that is like... A man, like a, that is extra special in this city. Yeah. In any other city, it would be special, but in this city, but you know what I think it is? Special. She's not. She's a uh, quiet. She ain't into the limelight. You know, she don't do comedy or anything like that. She just. That's, that's what you need. You know what I mean? I can't. That's I think what they'll need. The they'll, they'll need a guy that's not in the game. Yeah. Like we need a chick not in the game. Yeah. No. No. I. Game. You know. Me too. I like it because you know it's just like you know. It's different. Right? Competition. It, it, be, it, it. It might breed a little bit of competition. Yeah. No, it just naturally breeds competition because, you know, that's part of us, our successful spirit. As we grow to be more successful, we grow to be less competitive, you yeah. know. And yeah. when you're yeah. in the house with someone, naturally, when you hear about the things that, you know, that are happening, if you guys do the same thing, then, you know, you, it, you can be anxious when you're not at that mm-hmm. point. Now I feel like I could meet, you know, I could date Mike Epps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Okay. But damn. You hear that, Mike? You can date Mike Epps because you date Junebug, the, the, the two-year comedian. Nah. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I just got sick. <laughs> I'm just saying. Are we, you talking yeah. about comedians? Are you, know you talking about levels of comedy? Oh, yeah, level but you know what it is? Because as funny. a woman comedian, I think it's hard for them to. No, I can't be funnier than you. Yeah, yeah, at, at all. Like, yeah. I, like I'm, I'm talking about. Well, 
fuck? I just got like sick. That's like to a, my stomach. I'm trying to think. Who can we say? That's like <clears throat> that's who's out right now. Like a Tiffany Haddison. Okay, we're just gonna leave it alone. Right? Don't throw a name out. No, there. not don't throw a name out there. I'm talking no, I'm about somebody like, that's on their game. A woman that's like doing big in the industry, and then say she dated a comic like myself. For instance, you know what I mean? But, but see, that'd that, be that's not at, on that level. It's gonna be more intimidating to the comic because you got this woman that's out there. Yeah, but in. see, men, men, I, I, you know what? I've dated like I've dated a few people who, I'm not say comedy, but in general, more famous than me. I really never felt the, I never felt inferior. Yeah. I never felt like when I had to step to the side and they had to take a picture. I, I just felt that it was part of the game. I never felt like, I never felt inferior when I was. Who you dating that was I more famous really than you? I can't really say their name right now. But, but see, like, that's certain men though. Yeah, you know, some men. Be I like, never ah. felt it. Yeah, I just feel like is I'm always... happy for her getting this, getting this, and like at one point I might be over her, yeah. or even if we even, or even if she, it, it remains like just this, I'm still we a team. So okay. like, yeah. Yeah. You know no, but saying? the thing is, I I feel you on that. With um, see, like Chico, um, I can date Junebug, the regular guy, okay? Yeah. Because Junebug, the regular guy, I you know I date Junebug, the regular guy now. That's super duper funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not a comic. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just super duper funny. I just need that. Uh, open micer. Um, that would that. When I tell you, I could yeah. just stab him at the thought of <laughs> because it's just not. It's just you know what I'm saying. It's you just lot. you don't so look you consider, at it. You consider, it's like looking at a like a five year old. Pretty yeah. much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know because you're 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 you you are your comedy age. Yeah. I don't care how old yeah. you are as a yeah. comic in regular <laughs> life as a. As a rookie comic, at whatever age you are, as a comic who's been in the game a few years, we, we just know that, like, so many levels you're going to have to go through. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't care what age you are. You still got to go through those levels. You got to go to open mics. Yeah. You got to learn yourself. Free you, shows. It, I'm just saying, like, that's what they're talking about. Like, that man, I can't even wait for that. Yeah, I can't, long, yeah. can't be at open mics with you. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. yeah but if right. I was a dude and it was a bad little shorty newcomer, I will work with her just as a veteran yeah, because yeah. help her with her life. The man, yeah. Yeah. man guy. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. she man might even sleep over my house so she can just feel <laughs> energy. <laughs> no, I said help, help she the goes, yeah, is waiting naked. to give out a hashtag <laughs> me too moment. Yeah, you gotta write jokes moment. naked. That's how you I'm get it. I'm trying to help the younger uh -huh. comedian, the lady, younger lady comedian. Sometimes they help with their set in my house. I'm just saying that that's what I like to create. Yeah. I had a young girl tell me average before too. She, Chico she is not jokes. lying. Like, just Let me just tell you, he's not I'm lying. Like, yeah, he's, not. he's waiting to coach a young weak, <laughs> potentially right. funny. Every time they bomb, I'm like, you, you got some stuff was good, yeah, some yeah. stuff he was bad. Let's work on some you stuff. Need little, yeah, let's go to right now. <laughs> You you gonna do your set not tonight because we need to work. I need to be like recording this audio so I can just don't worry about my career. Back to you and your woman of one month and now seven years. I'm so glad you brought that up because um we were talking before we got our young engineer Roxy. Y'all gotta go and see Roxy. She's so fly, body for the gods. Yeah, all the dudes straight checking her out, and I'm just telling her, listen here, she's killing it. You know, but I'm just telling her, you know, you can get anything you want with that body. You know, you can literally, um, you know, because people people are very visual and this is not to say you can get anything you want by just having a body this is to say that you are a person that likes to get not likes to get you are a person that garners attention you are a people attractor women look at you men look at you and you're smart and you are very visually a pleasing you know what i'm saying visually pleasing appeasing. A, no not appeasing visually pleasing, pleasing. so with have with being smart pleasing and professional you can yes. just garner everything you've ever wanted and i was just telling her slow. don't um don't sleep with the guys you know what yeah, i'm saying i don't agree with that so then I, that's what chico said i don't agree with that <laughs> I, and um, I agree. and chico says no and i said because i said if you sleep with the guy you won't know in a week you you know you need six months to know yeah, because yeah. sometimes people seem like it yeah, then, you know you got to be able to like distinguish as a young woman because sometimes you know if you need that love like i was a young woman that needed the love so i wasn't able to like distinguish it was like oh, i think he's the one the next week is like oh, i think he's the one yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, when you yeah. don't even have to do he, all that you cannot you can agree just... with that you know why because he met his woman in august no i, I agree with that because... and then we seven years. years i i just look at it like this it's about 
that person. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. people like anybody can say, "Oh, the work it might it might work for me, but it might not work for Chico." You yeah, know what I mean? but yeah. it might work for Dale, but it might not yeah. work for uh, Roxy. No, you know what I mean? it just depends on yeah. the person. But mm-hmm. if y'all both on the same page, and as a man, you comfortable enough, and you like, man, I'm just gonna leave faith out there and just go with it. Yeah, I have feel a feel, yeah, yeah. yeah. feeling that I ain't never had before. So I'm like, yeah. this is yeah. weird. I'm thinking about this chick. That's all a the good time. point. You know, I was a player. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, what the hell? I'm on the road. Worry about you know me turning females down when I could be knocking stuff back. Uh huh. Yeah. About her. Mm-hmm. I'm like that's the one, bro. So you said yeah. prior to the merge, you was knocking. Bro, no, I, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just I met her. No, when I, <laughs> I just when I met her, bro. Honestly, I met her the next week. I went on the road to Atlanta, and I talked to her. I'm talking. I was calling her when I wake up in the morning, Facetime, uh-huh. Facetime. I'm uh-huh. like, bro, what the hell are you doing, chasing me on this female you just met? But. Hey, hey, man. but you know what? When the, when um, that one come, you you feel it. Yeah, you do. You know, yeah. you know. But you know what? I'll say this: I thought some people was the one, and I felt it. Yeah. And then like the feeling went away. <laughs> <laughs> you think they can that happen, Dale? Can that's that happen? That's what that's I'm talking that about with, and that's what I'm talking about with Roxy. See, uh, with, you so know, you that's what Roxy? my is advice to her from a you know bigger sister to yeah. little sister. Like uh-huh. sometimes you be feeling like it's the one, but it's like chemistry. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you sleep with a nigga, and then you realize, uh oh, <laughs> not only is he not the one, he's not calling back, <laughs> and then. You don't. You didn't have to do. You wasted all that young, Man. great for JJ for no on somebody reason. that wasn't the one. Okay, Roxy, well, you, you know what I'm saying? Notes? I'm just saying. I, what, look, what I'm saying <laughs> okay. is, is that like, just because you sleep with somebody early, that don't that don't dictate. If that it, does if not it, dictate, but you got to no, be able dictate. to distinguish it. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just no. saying, like, you're talking about that, that, that man, that that man met his girl in one month. They did, they got married and did seven years. So and yeah. and yeah. I slept with my ex husband on night one, and we got married in a year. So that's See? what I'm saying. You know? See? So but I'm the saying. thing about it, too, is we knew, yeah. and I was older and uh, old enough to distinguish, like, wh- wh- you know. See, I agree with that. This so now you is feel the one. His first nights having sex with somebody, do y'all feel like as a young person that's a bad thing, or when you get older, it's like whatever? You know what? It, it, it's the same thing what you said earlier. It, it's just the thing. It, it depends on the person. I feel like it's whatever. I, I slept, I slept with age. somebody the first night, and I dated that person for like three years. Oh, so yeah. Okay. So I'm just saying, like, it just you you know that first yeah. night if you were a hoe or if you were yeah. just a decent girl who yeah. just might like your energy. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, that's real for real. Yeah. Like, how many? So how many energies? Like so many energies. If I just meet a girl people. and I come from the gym <laughs> and she ready to give and me you come from the what? Come from the gym. And oh, she better yeah. give me some head, just sweaty nuts and all. That's how you. That That's a hoe. That's a hoe. Cause, cause a, a, you're not gonna let me wash up, and then you just want some sweaty nuts. I'm about, just saying that, like a a a chick, okay. a chick who res- who who, who respect she respect herself, herself she gonna say, let, maybe we go home, take a shower, yeah. then knock you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you <laughs> okay, tell me but then come over. I'm like, I just have the gym. I know. Come on. That's somebody who. But why couldn't you get in the shower at her house? No, I didn't have a chance. You know, you get there and they just go. No, he just talking about somebody who just like in the car. Both of y'all have yeah, been in the gym. Yeah. And she just nasty. Car. She yeah. like, she would be a thought. As Ain't I no time think. to stop. Okay, but wait a minute. But I okay. know I'm sweaty, but you. <laughs> okay, but hold on. You, when you're in a relationship. Uh-huh. Okay, and I'm so glad you're married. And you've been married for seven years because I know married guys, you know, yeah. they love Funky Cat, you know? <laughs> um, They love Did the promo. That married guys like funky. No, I'm talking about when you I, live with someone. Oh, I'm about to say, how bad you differ? Uh, no, I'm talking about like you just your woman is just coming oh, from yeah. the gym, yeah, I don't and care. that's like the time. Yeah, I don't give a damn. She be cleaning up all day. Okay, and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You want so so that's, that's different. Same. That's her though. I'm saying, you I'm saying live, like a chick that I'm just messing around with. Yeah, because if you live with a chick, a lot of times y'all might be just in the bed or something. And it might happen. Yeah. But that's different from a chick and you, you and the chick and both of y'all, <laughs> both of y'all got the the tens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Running listen, on the treadmill, listen, listen. and then after that she be like, "Hey, you want one little head before I go head home?" Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 a hoe. Somebody <laughs> said plant. Plan for said if he is going to leave after sex, then he is going to do that. It doesn't matter if you do it first night or three weeks later. If he is a fuck and leave dude, then he will do it regardless. Yeah, I mean that's that's true too. But you know, it's that's some things true. you can I, do. Yeah. Um, you, to, you can see some signs of somebody who's not gonna be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on top. Yeah, yeah. you can see some signs. Yeah. Um. You know. See, I think where I my appalling. Uh, you know, feeling feelings of appalled yeah. 
come from on behalf of the hoes that you, you know, this is the terms that you use on behalf of the hoes. You know, hoes are here to accommodate niggas left and right, and yeah. yet they get no love whatsoever. Like, a girl that will, like, like you're getting off from her yeah. being the hoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you don't want to be like, thank you so much for your service. Thanks so much for accommodating me, no matter, regardless of how I smell. It's yeah. people like you yeah. that really help me to be a better person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you man, were appreciate happy. You appreciate whole appreciation. <laughs> oh, you know, hey, like you know what I'm saying? Whole, whole, whole appreciation day. Holes have because saved what? a lot of relationships. No, I yeah. mean, but the thing That's is, true. On, like now, people do that all over the world. You know, it's only in like black culture that is like, oh, it's ho 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 ho. Like you know, yeah. like all Other of our women are down. Yeah. Other cultures are, you know, people are getting anal and yeah, yeah, doing yeah, yeah. so many things yeah. and whatever. What, what, what but culture? nobody. What, what culture? No, I'm talking about like you know, in in the white culture. Um, <laughs> Let's have them well, on I the show. I Let's have them on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First today, of all, today. Chico can't <laughs> right wait to, to do whatever. We got to start with this table. Chico can't wait to get whoever he can get his crusty porn star hands on, you know. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, no, but I'm talking about, you know, white cultures, you know, white girls and when they're younger tend to like, you know, you can do it in the bar, but you can't do yeah, it. in. Yeah. Th that's what I hear. I don't, I haven't slept with any young white girls, so I can't verify, but you know, I always hear that. So you never tried it. So what? Uh, what? Back up. Um, first of all, I don't even want to get on no oh, okay. <laughs> subject with that. I'm talking about. Like, it's not, t white men aren't going around talking about, oh, she's a hoe. Oh, nah, she's yeah. a hoe, 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 hoe. They're, you know, so appreciative of oh, yeah. her being willing to accommodate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I but we that. we yeah. make that, we we down our women at any time, even though they're more accommodating than the person that gives you all the problems because she got the respect for herself. Yeah. And the thing is, both of those people deserve respect because, you know, essentially the hoe is out trying to please you because they want more love. Uh -huh. So they are yeah. doing, they're giving the love for less. Yeah, the right. person who respects yeah. you will leave you in 30 seconds, and that's why it's like you in line. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> they don't play that shit. They like, yeah. you, also, they wish you would complain. Right. You know? it, it, it also depends on, like, the, you know, like, a hoe can be, like, in nowhere to go. If you, What if you a hoe a horrible sex? Then, like. Yeah, you pointed this. You might switch it up. That's, that's a tough call right there. So D.R. Cole is on his way down, y'all. D.R. Cole is on his way down. And let me just look him up because I definitely want to talk to Dion Cole. Dion Cole. Um, you know. Um, doing the Special. daggone thing. Michelle Murdoch is coming down. Let me get you to say your ads and let's get him in here. Thank you so much for joining the podcast, Always kid. I appreciate it. Say your ads and let everybody know where they can find you at. At Comedian KM. Just KM, man. Follow me on okay. Instagram. Okay. Uh, also watch me. I'm doing America's Got Talent right now. We are that's doing awesome. 